Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 3.5. So the question is cal calculate the mass currents I1 and I2 of the circuit of figure 3.19. Okay, let's just start because we already given the loops. Here is I1 and this is I2. Okay, to calculate the mass currents, we need to do KCL at both, both loops. So not KCL, KVL. So KVL at loop I1 and then for the next one we will do KVL at loop I2. So KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this I1 and let's start from this 45 volt voltage source. And if we look the current here, it's flowing from the negative node to positive node or positive terminal. So we will have negative sign because the, the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So we have minus and the magnitude is 45. Okay, and then we will have 2 ohm here. So we have 2 ohm resistance. Remember, we need to, we need voltage not resistance to get voltage from resistance we need to multiply it by the current so i will have one and then again let's move to this 12 ohm resistor so i will have 12 and then i1 is flowing from here but then i2 is flowing to the opposite direction here i1 is flowing down and i2 is flowing up so i will have I1 minus I2. Good. And now let's get to the last component, which is 4 ohm. So I will have 4. And remember, 4 is resistance. So we need to multiply it by the current. The only current that pass through it is this I1. So I have all of that will equal to 0. And then let's do some simple math here. So I will have 2I1. And then plus, let's distribute this 12. So I will have 12 I1 minus 12 I2. And then we will have plus 4 I. And then we will have minus 45. Let's move it to the right hand side. So I will have 45. Good. Now I will have 12 plus 2 is 6. 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. So I will have 18 I1. Then minus 12 I2. That will equal to 14. What can we get from here? I think we can simplify this by divided both sides by 3. Yeah, I think we can do that. So I will have 6 I1 minus 4 i2 is equal to 50. okay that's good and now let's do another kvl but this time at loop i2 kvl at loop i2 okay kvl said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero then let's start from this 12 ohm resistor. 12, and then we multiply it by I2. But here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I will have minus. Good. And now let's move to this 9 ohm. And remember, 9 is resistance, so we need to multiply it by the current. And the only current that pass through it is I2. Good. And then here we have another voltage source, but the current is flowing from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So I will have the sign will be positive and the magnitude is 30. Okay, and then the last component is this 3 ohm resistor. So I will have 3 and then I, all of that will equal to 0. Okay, let's do some math here. We have 12 I2 minus 12 i1 and then 9 plus 3 will equal to 12 right so i have 12 i2 and 
then let's move this plus 30 to the right hand side so i will have minus 30. good so we will have minus 12 one plus 24 i2 and that will equal to minus 30. Okay, I think we can divide both sides by minus 6, right? So I will have 2i1 here, 2i1, and then minus 4i2, and then that will equal to and I think we can save this as equation number one and for this as equation. What we need now is to solve this. We should be able to solve this because we have two equation and two variables. Okay, let's do exactly that. Okay, we have two equation and two variables. I think we can do elimination here easily and by subtracting them right so let's subtract this because we can eliminate this too right so we will have 4i1 here because 6 minus 2 is 4 and then this will cancel each other and then we will have this will equal okay so i1 is 10 divided by 4 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 ampere here okay that's good so i think let's highlight this because this is one of the answer and then for i2 we can just substitute this i1 into one of this equation so maybe let's plug it to equation number two two i1 minus four i2 is equal to then let's plug the 2.5 in so i will have 2.5 here as i1 and then minus for i2 and then this will equal to five. so we we'll have 5 minus for i2 is equal to 5 and then can we do from here 5 minus 5 is equal to 4 i2 so you have 0 is equal to 4 i2 or i2 is 0 divided by 4 and 0 divided by 4 is 0 so this is the second answer that we are looking for the, the current so i think we did not make any mistakes because this and this is the same answer as the answer given by the I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.